I'd like to introduce you to a font known as Operator Mono, and this is going to spawn off a different series on the channel where we like at different coding fonts and how we can improve our IDE experience. So Operator Mono starts at about $199 per license. And it's up to you. For a long time, I didn't really want to spend that type of money on a font. But I thought I'd give it a shot and see whether it's worth the money and whether it actually improves my experience writing codes on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I think it's easy to take fonts for granted. As developers, we spend the majority of our day looking at text, but with the complexity of our codes and sometimes even the complexity of setting up your IDE, it's easy to overlook. So like I said, this one is called Operator Mono and already on screen you can see some distinctions from other fonts. A great thing with Operator is that whenever we have an attribute, that is italicized. So we get this specific italic font and as you can see, it has a funky S here and other things like if we added an R, it looks completely distinctive, but also allows us to say that we want to inject this variable here named shake of type shake, but we can make a distinction between these two words. This is also done on things like this. So anytime that we have this dot, we can focus on what's important and we can look down at a glance straight away to see that everything with this dot is italicized. You may find that interesting, you may find it a gimmick, but I like it and I do think that it makes a big difference to readability when we're spending, you know, 9, 10, 12 hours a day looking at a screen. Another example here, if I was to type I, L and 1, you can distinctly see the different characters. And that's because the character here with the L has this complete italicized L and it's easier to make that distinction. Another thing that I like about Operator is the braces. It's really distinctive and allows us to see at a glance where our braces are for each function. The same goes for the brackets. There has been a lot of care and attention gone to ensuring that they are readable when there is a substantial amount of them on screen. So overall, I do really like this font. While it is quite expensive and I certainly wouldn't recommend it to everyone, it's a decent premium font and you can tell that a lot of care and attention has gone into making it aesthetic, readable and usable on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below what font you use and whether you think paying $200 for a font is way too much and how much you would pay for a font if none at all. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. And of course, let's check out some more fonts in the near future.